Oh, Derek Barry. Derek, oh, here we go. Here come the comments section. Keep writing. <laughs> Derek is one of my best friends from season eight. Really? Yes. I talked to Derek a lot. Derek was in my first first video. Uh huh. Yes, I saw that. Derek is such a good actor. Derek is really funny. Mm -hmm. People don't know that about Derek. Derek is really funny, and Derek just seems kind of slow. He might be, <laughs> he might be a little slow, but he's actually really funny. He's a good actor. He's a great performer, and he's just like. I don't even know. Like when Derek goes in, like that, like the TV Derek one, when he's like, "Well, how about the fact that you're fucking a ratchet?" And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm talking to? "I'm a black man from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> yeah. I am hood, okay." And Derek is like the antithesis of me. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's like a ratchet bitch uh, in TJ Fridays, and like some little skinny white girl behind her is like, "Can you like talk lower?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Who the fuck you talking to?" <laughs> <laughs> So did you guys become close like after the season ended or is it because everyone was putting so much scrutiny on your relationship because everyone loves to make the drama, yeah. enemies for life, slit each other's throats, meet in the prison yard, stab each other. That's what they want. Or, wow. Work. But like, did, did you? <laughs> it, was um, no, me, me, it was real drama. It was not fake drama. It was not pretend drama. And uh, any, if you ever see a fight on reality TV, I can't speak all, but for RuPaul's Drag Race, it was lo it lasted longer. It was more awkward and it was more intense than what you mm. saw. But any fight you see, it is way more intense in real life. Um, so we really were arguing. But by the time she left, I, that's when I started to really love Derek. Yeah. And you got to hang out after the show and like keep that going. Not, re I mean, on the promo tour and um, uh, and and yeah, on, on the on the. You sort of made tour. the decision. I like this bitch. I'm yeah, okay with that. it was during our our political campaign. Right. Like she's a fucking really hard worker. Mm -hmm. She is, and she's really a a great like a natural performer. Yeah, she didn't come. She didn't come off as good as we all hoped she would on the season. But she didn't become Derek Barry for nothing. This sure, you know exactly. I mean? yeah. 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 All right, look at her. Oh, wow. calm down. You're crazy, yeah. auntie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like to throw shade at Bianca because she's infallible. Right. Yeah. And I'm the only one doing it. <laughs> sure. Because everyone else is afraid. <laughs> exactly. No, Bianca is amazing. Bianca is my fucking drag auntie. Like, she is, so, I listen to everything she says. If she says do it, I do it. If she says don't trust it, I don't trust it. Um, I've, she's the queen I've literally never seen make a mistake. She doesn't fall. She doesn't trip. She doesn't second speak. She doesn't even stutter. She doesn't, she doesn't spits never flown from under her tongue while talking to someone. Like, on her special, stand-up special, like, her wig popped up and I was like, catch sure this moment. It'll never happen again. <laughs> right. Bianca made a mistake. This is crazy. Right. Um, she is infallible. I fucking love Bianca Del Rio. Yeah, someone definitely like you to follow in the footsteps of. I think you said when you saw her win, you were like, I'm doing it. I this. did. You know, I was reading a book called The Magic, and it said, um, you know, if, if you see something with someone who has what you want, you have to be happy for them as if it's yours. Mm -hmm. So when Bianca won, I cried. I was like, I felt it really felt like I won RuPaul's Drag Race. Right. And then I fucking won RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, you did. <laughs>